while 2020 was interesting, 2021 starting out strong out of the gate. Figured I would take a few minutes of your time today getting away from everything that's going on on Wall Street to talk about the Royal Rumble. This Sunday, one of the, if not the greatest pay-per-views in the entire calendar year is upon us. So I wanted to go over my predictions and see where it all stands afterwards. And I'm going to try something throughout 2021. I'm going to, with a couple buddies of mine, and of course all of you, every single pay-per-view I'm going to leave a predictions video. And at the end of the year, I'm going to see if I can get above 70% of all of them right. I will typically do them in the middle of the week on a Thursday, release on a Friday when this video comes out. And we'll see where we stand. Now, there's still SmackDown. It has not uh, been, it has not aired from the time of this filming. So some changes could happen, but that's the way this goes. I'm not waiting any longer. Let's get right into it. We are going to first start with the US title. It's gonna be a very quick one. I feel. The story has been okay, such as everything else on Raw that has been either okay or subpar at best. I think Lashley is going to retain over Riddle in this. Um, I'm about 70% sure on this one. Uh, not completely positive, but I feel, I feel it's leading towards something else. I feel that there is... Uh, I, I just don't... I just, I don't know. I don't see Lashley losing it, at least not on the first one. Let's go into the IC title over on SmackDown. I'm about 90% sure on this one with everything that I've read and all the tea leaves and all the tarot cards, which I'm not looking at. I believe Big E is going to win this one. He is super entertaining and super over. I feel Big E is going to retain the title. Now let's go into the women's tag team titles, which if you've forgotten that they're on the show, it's completely understandable. They're not really doing anything with them. It's fine. Back in 2018, they got rid of the automatic rematch clause when all four members of the McMahon clan came out and said, you are all the authority. We are not going to have an authority figure. Adam Pierce may or may not be the general manager, but we can't say that. We can't say he's the general manager. We can't do that. Shh. I think Nia and Shayna Baszler are, are going to win the tag titles. They're going to take them off of Asuka and off of Charlotte. They're both in different programs that have nothing to do with the tag titles. Asuka is in something with Alexa Bliss with the women's title. Charlotte is in this daddy issue thing with Lacey Evans. Nia and Shayna, I don't think they should have the tag titles either, but it's kind of a lesser of two evils. I believe Nia and Shayna will win the belts back. So now we're getting into territory of major titles. The Universal title over on SmackDown. 95% sure that this is going to be a drag out fight between Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns, but Roman Reigns will indeed retain. It's probably not going to be for the faint of heart. It's probably going to be similar to what we saw with... Uh, the Usos and Roman Reigns, when he came back, it's just going to be something a little brutal. It's a last man standing match, and Kevin Owens is not going to stop. So I got Roman Reigns winning that. So the WWE title, Drew McIntyre versus Goldberg. What are we doing? I'm a Goldberg fan, but come on. 
you want to look at this and say that Drew McIntyre is going to win because they have the entire, they seemingly have the entire system behind him, backing him, the machine's there. But Goldberg is back. And they keep playing up the facts that he's never won this title. But they're also playing up the fact that every time he's returned for a title, he has won the title. So they're playing two different stories in front of you. And I'm... I have written down Drew beating Goldberg. I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. But I think Goldberg is going to beat Drew McIntyre for the WWE title. And WWE can do what they want. They can press a button and the sound can be whatever they want. They don't have to deal with the resounding boos. So at the Royal Rumble 2021, I believe Goldberg is beating Drew McIntyre for the WWE title and he will go into WrestleMania to face someone. Okay. The women's Rumble match. So the way that I have this written down here, I have some surprises, who I think will be the final four, and who I think the winner will be. My surprises in this match, I can see Raquel Gonzalez from NXT coming in and eliminating a good handful of people, give a strong showing. I feel it'll give some mainstream eyes onto the NXT product, especially with the rumors of them moving to Thursday when they go to Peacock. I don't know if it's actually been confirmed or not. But if they, when they move over to Thursday, there's going to be no competition for AE, or with AEW. So they want to get some of those mainstream eyes. I feel Raquel Gonzalez and Rhea Ripley are going to be in the Rumble. And I feel one of them is going to eliminate the other. So there, I, I think they'll both be in there. I think this is where we get the return of Eva Marie in WWE. She has been down in the Performance Center training. I think this is a good opportunity for her to return. I think we're getting Melina. She has since gone on Cameo and said that she was having, I believe, leg surgery. Uh, okay, sure. I'm pretty sure she'll be there. There was uh, there were some rumors that she was really ang irritated that something got leaked of her return before, so it got scrapped. I think Melina will make an appearance. Uh, so now these next four Four, it's interesting because the Royal Rumble, on the women's side, this is only their fourth year, I believe, third or fourth year, so they, they don't have a stable buildup. So you can typically count on surprises in the Rumble. Uh, usually ones from NXT, some one-off returns like Tori Wilson we've had in the past, Chris Jadis we've had in the past. I think this is where we're going to get Taya Valkyrie coming in. She was a standout star over an Impact. Uh, her husband is already in WWE and John Morrison. I think this is where we get her uh, into the mix. I also think this is where we get Tessa Blanchard into the mix. And that'll be interesting if they both are in the Rumble at the same time. I also think this is where we get Becky Lynch returning to WWE. And I think number 30 is going to be Ronda Rousey herself. That on its own will be something entirely hysterical and crazy, I'm sure. So with that said, I believe my final four will be Bianca Belair, Charlotte, cuz of course, Bailey, and I'm I'm kind of flip flop on these on the on the last one. So, I'm going to give 5, my final 5, I think are going to be Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey. I don't think Ronda Rousey's coming back to not be in the final 4. In fact, possibly the final 2. I would like to see Bianca Belair and Ronda Rousey go at it. 
but I think Bailey is going to win the Royal Rumble. I think she is going to eliminate Bianca Belair to win the Royal Rumble and go on to WrestleMania for the women's title. Now on to the men's side. So again, I have some surprises. I have a final four. Now I have a feel-good story, and I have who I think reality will have set in who will win. There has been some rumblings that there could be a shock winner, and I will touch on that, on who I think that shock winner will be after this. So, and it's actually two of them. I can see Keith Lee being in the Rumble. He's not been announced. He's on Raw. It's not really a surprise, but you know he's kind of been he's kind of been quiet. He's kind of been under the radar. I think Karrion Cross. This is a perfect opportunity for him to come in and show how strong and how badass he is. Uh, he is undefeated down in NXT. He could come in and just do the same thing that Keith Lee and Brock Lesnar did last year where it was just a, whoa, these guys going at it. And then Keith Lee gets eliminated later. I think Damian Priest is somebody who is going to eventually move over to Raw or SmackDown. I'm not saying go to the main roster. I feel NXT is a is just as main roster as everybody else. So I think Damian Priest will make, this, will make the crossover. I think Ciampa will do it too. I think Ciampa will be in the Royal Rumble. I don't see him as a full-time... Um, but they're not traveling right now. They're not going anywhere. They're not on the road. So, so it's one of those situations where you could conceivably see that some NXT superstars test the waters. Surprised more haven't. Carlito, I think, makes his return. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily going to be a full-time return, although... I'm here for it. I'm, I'm here for that. Carlito, I believe, comes in. And I think we are getting a debut. Even though there's no crowd, there's supposed to be a crowd at WrestleMania. I think this is where you bring somebody in. You start something with them. You get a tease. And then at WrestleMania, you potentially get... You potentially test the waters and, and you get a match. I think Switchblade Jay White is coming in to WWE. I think he will be at the Royal Rumble. It's kind of a far, far left field one, but I'm taking it. I think my final four is going to be Edge, Keith Lee, Sheamus, and again... I say final four, but I'm tossed between between two of them, so I'm gonna go final five. AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan. I think the feel-good story here is of course Edge. But Randy Orton doesn't have the title. And I feel as if there's gonna be something between Edge and Randy Orton at WrestleMania. It's gonna be the trilogy, it's gonna end off the story. The feel-good story will be Edge. Especially after coming back after nine years with triple neck fusion surgery and then having the torn muscle being out since June. It's just something after another, but he has persevered. He's come back. That would be feel-good. However, reality sets in, and I think we're getting Daniel Bryan winning the title. Or, excuse me, the Royal Rumble. Especially since there is no crowd, they can pump in the crowd noise, or they can do. They can do. WWE can do whatever they want. We are in a pandemic. There is going to be no crowd. It will be crowd controlled by them by button. It will be in the Thunderdome. So what a perfect opportunity for Daniel Bryan to win the Royal Rumble when there's no crowd. Seven years later, seven years too late. So there has been talk of a shock ending to the Royal Rumble. I believe if they're going to do a shock, here are two way out of bounds ones that you could do. One would be, of course, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar comes back. 
He runs rough shot through the whole thing. And we get Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg or Brock Lesnar versus Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania. Excuse me. The other one is a little bit more out there. Let's say Drew wins and retains the WWE title over Goldberg. What's to say Goldberg doesn't enter himself into the Rumble and win the Royal Rumble, getting a, getting a rematch? Drew versus Goldberg at WrestleMania. One side note before I sign off here. I think somehow, some way, because Alexa Bliss was touched. Randy Orton RKO'd Alexa Bliss on Raw, laid, her hand, or laid his hands on Alexa Bliss, harmed Alexa Bliss. I think The Fiend is somehow going to play into Randy Orton being eliminated out of the Rumble, thus setting up a match at one of the next two to three pay-per-views including WrestleMania, possibly WrestleMania. Could we get the Fiend? I don't I don't I I don't think we're going to get the Fiend versus Randy Orton at WrestleMania. I think we're going to get that at one of the next two pay-per-views. I still stand by the fact we're going to get Randy Orton versus Edge. But how do we get there? If you stay till the end of the video, I'm sorry I rambled a little bit, but if you stay till the end of the video, Leave us, leave a subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about any one of these matches. Again, I'm going for 70% at the end of the year across the board on all the predictions. At the end of this, I will leave a pinned comment on how I did. And I'd like you to go on there and let me know how you did. Again, leave a like on the video, subscribe, hit the bell. And I've got plenty more of these coming up, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.